Hey, oh, my planet coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. We have an absolutely fantastic creation here today, inspired by Walt Disney World theme parks. And we're going to be looking at the Enchanted World, created by Coaster Cat, one of our Discord legend builders. And here they say, hey -o, this is Enchanted World. It's inspired by the classic style Disney parks, but with my very own take on it. It's divided into the following. Frontierland, Fantasyland, Adventureland, Tomorrowland is left out for frame rate reasons. In the Steam Workshop description, there's a guide of the highlights of what I think you sh shouldn't miss out on. I hope you have some fun exploring this park. Thank you for all the amazing spotlights of my own previous parks, which boosted my motivation to build new ones. I hope this park can inspire others, and you and your channel, team, community, can inspire me once more to keep on building. Cheers, Coaster Cat. All right, absolutely phenomenal stuff. Coaster Cat is a legend, and I can see where he got the motivation from because we featured him last year with Dragon Kingdom. At least, I believe it was last year. And uh, it was published in January 2020. We featured it at some point after that. Dragon Kingdom was one of the most popular parks of 2020, and it won many awards in our 2020 Planko Awards ceremony. Dragon Kingdom, if you haven't seen it, I'll, pro I'll, I'll, rem I'll try to remember, put a link in the description, but you can also search for it on the channel. Uh, a beautiful park, just like the one we're going to see today with uh, some of the most incredible dark rides you have ever experienced in your life. So that's definitely one not to miss. But today's episode looks even more fantastic. It's new. It's a 2021 creation. All right, looking at this, there's a big description for each of the areas. So, so why don't I read those as we get to each of the areas and we can check it out on a themed area by area basis. So let's dive right on into it. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Are you all ready to explore the Enchanted World? Look at the little miniature here. These are the uh, three three different themed areas. Or was there four? Main Street, USA, Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Adventureland. So we have four areas to go and explore, all inspired by Disneyland, Disney World. And you can definitely see it. We're already seeing the mini Mickeys. And uh, yet again, here we go. <clears throat> Minis. And I love the introduction of Planet Coaster. I almost feel like you should have done this thing where instead of the mini Mickeys, I mean, it's your inspiration, but do the symbol like this, where the ears are to the sides. <laughs> Just for the Planet Coaster spin. Kind of did it there, though. That's quite nice. So, <clears throat> I mean, already main entrance is just amazing. We have the traditional train ride at the entrance that takes us around the whole park. I mean, it's feeling very Disney already. If you just poke just above there, there's the castle at the back. I mean, this is amazing. And I quite like this, because it's, uh... You can almost mis Like, this almost feels like, uh, something that should be recreated in, in real life, <laughs> rather than recreated from real life. This is very, I mean, I've seen some um, Disney parks in my time on the channel that look and feel exactly like this. Um, I haven't been to a Disneyland or a Disney World myself. I've seen videos and things online and looked at the maps and done research for previous recreation parks. So I know enough about it, but I certainly haven't gotten to experience it myself. And that's what the wonder is uh, for a lot of us. Not everyone has the uh, money, time, and isn't as fortunate to go to all these places. And we get to kind of relive those experiences or get to live those experiences for our first time in Planet Coaster. And uh, that we'll have to do for now. <laughs> for now. But uh, what I wanted to say was that the, from the ones that I have seen, this this feels so much similar, but has a twist to it. And I love that, because it's not a one-to-one -one recreation. You don't have to try to make sure everything is 100% fully accurate, but instead have some fun with it. And from that, I can already see that you've come up with your own designs for how you would like to see Main Street look like. And honestly, 
This might end up at being one of my favorite main streets. This theater is freaking phenomenal, by the way. One of the best theaters I've ever seen in Planet Coaster. It's so grand. You really get the sense of scale in here. Lighting's great. It's phenomenal. But as I was saying that this Main Street and might end up being my favorite one, and it's not a recreation, it's inspired by being able to take your own twist to things, putting you got you know, a pip shop water build, you know, just doing what you want to do, using those Planko pieces out front in the antique shop. It's just those fun little touches that um, you don't really get to do when you're trying to recreate something one-to-one. -one. However, this is almost mistakenly perfect for a Disneyland layout. This feels and looks like a Disneyland Main Street. The castle looks different, obviously. The builds, when you look closer, are different. But it's it's actually quite remarkable how close it is. I love it. You gotta doom the lights back there, pizza pen, exotic delights. Let me, uh, let me read the description for Main Street. Main Street, USA. Enchanted Theater, a cinema where you could sit, relax, and watch a movie indoors looks best at nighttime. We did check that out. We have a Mickey Mouse Club, which is the best place to start all adventurers who are looking for an extra challenge. Indoor looks best at nighttime. So we have a Mickey Mouse Club in one of these buildings that we don't want to miss out on. There it is. And there's some others here. Cad, Cad's Flush Works. In case you gotta use the toilet. Cad's out, how, uh, Outside the Line Gift Shop. A special gift shop. Fireworks. So there's gonna be a fireworks show that is actually going off right now. Let's not miss out on this while we have the opportunity to watch it now. We might have missed the first introduction of it. I just started hearing them pop off in the background. But you can't have a Walt Disney Park without... The fireworks show at the castle in the main center. And I like your take on the castle too, and the fountain. It's all very beautiful. Let me see what else Mainworks has. The Enchanted Railroad, one of the three stations of the Enchanted Railroad can be found in the Main Street USA, which we did see was the first thing we came in. So it was the CADs outside the line gift shop. So Coaster Cat has integrated himself into the theme park. Which is quite fun. With the CAD shops. Am I supposed to be standing closer to hear the speakers? Oh, maybe. I wonder if this is on continuous loop. Okay, we might have just caught the end of it there. Beautiful. All right, let's go check out the um, Mickey Mouse Club. Gosh, this totally looks and feels like a Main Street, USA. It's just incredible. Let's go on in. Oh, wow. Oh, we were supposed to go at nighttime. Dur, 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 dur. What do we have here? Welcome to the uh, Club Mickey Adventure. Hidden Mickeys can be found throughout the park. Good luck finding them all. Well, I see some already. We found a few in the entrance. We gotta keep a better eye out. Leave a comment if you catch them all. What? How many did you guys count? I wanna know down in the comments what your number is. Now, do each one of these on the wallpaper count? I would imagine so. There's some on the ceiling. There's a lot in this room. How many will we find outside? Put your totals down below, even the lanterns. Count all the lanterns. My god. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> wow. I feel like we should give a prize, like a video game prize to whoever counted the most. Accurately, but there would be no way to verify unless Coaster Cat knows the exact number. Maybe I'll work that out. If someone gets uh, the highest, well, then you just—it's now—it's just the price is right. Comment anyway. 
for a chance to win a game, and I'll figure out if there's a way for us to work this out based off of uh, if Coaster Cat has an answer for us or not to how many minis there are in the park. I feel like I should be looking everywhere for them now. Now there's some Coaster Cat shops. Coaster Cat gift shops. We got a Chief Beef in there. Shout out to the Chief. Gotta get your coffee. That's the first place I would be going, personally. Oh. That's quite fun. See, now this is what I love. It's that Walt Disney meets Planet Coaster, and every single one of the Planet Coaster shops has its own personal Main Street build. I mean, they're so well detailed, too. It's incredible. And I'm a... I'm a nut over using the Planet Coaster brands. I mean, at the time of this recording, we have a Planet Coaster shop brand contest going on where you have to theme your own shop around a Planet Coaster brand. Oh, here's the CAD's Corner. We found it. So, yeah, these, these um, contest uh, restaurants that we're making, the shop contest... You'll see Cosmic Cow, you'll see Missy Goods, Cheap Beef, all the things that we're seeing here. Coaster Cats went and done them all <laughs> for one Main Street. Oh, look at this wacky shop. This is a, and this is a great one for just a memento. Putting a nice little spin on it, making it like this crazy, zany uh, antique shop. Outside the line gift shop. Cads outside. Okay, that, that one was mentioned in the description that we just read about Main Street. Okay, let's just do a, another skim through things here because we got like just ribbon over here. Look through the windows here. Oh, this is so sensational. How much detail is in, inside of each one of these little window bays. There's the hats, fantastic. And I think we're back to where we started. So hopefully we got a good look at everything. I do want to switch things back to daytime. God, these builds are so nice. Okay. Well. We have some other areas. Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Adventureland. But we also have the castle in the center. And I think we got to pay respects to the castle. Look how big this plaza is. Another mini! This plaza's freaking huge. There's one mini in each one of those. Alright, so we should have Fantasyland over here. Or no, Adventureland, sorry. And, um... We have to pass through the castle. And this has got to be the Frontierland. Yes, sir! Uh, inspired um, <laughs> Thunder Mountain there. Cool. I mean, if you love Disneyland and you love Disney experiences and the theme parks like we featured on the show throughout the years, they always seem to get a lot of attraction. This has it all too. It's going to be just as wonderful of an experience. Just as magical of an experience. I'm quite impressed already. Coaster Cat is just a tremendous builder. Be our guest restaurant. <laughs> Beautiful. Themed around Princess Emily is the main protagonist. That's fun. There we go. Fantasyland behind the castle. I guess we'll start here. Because uh, this is kind of the center, and then off to the right we have Adventureland, and off to the left we have Frontierland. And, um... Mm hmm Wow. I don't even know where to begin. Well, let's start off by getting some ice cream. <laughs> Just work our way in and see where it takes us. So much to look at. Wow. Is this like your Seven Dwarfs Mine Train ride? Taken to the extreme? I 
think we we should ride that mine train as our first main attraction of the video. But I want to poke around this village a little bit. Because it's quite uh, overwhelming. So much depth and perspective. I really feel like we're here. No detail has been left out here. Oh, hello. Yeah, we will not go through there until we have finished looking around over here. They used, really broke this uh, area up into multiple sections. We'll, we'll take a look around in there <clears throat> in a second. I feel like we only passed through the village. Can we do a bird's eye view here? Kind of came down through here. So we kind of missed this area. Wow. You know how long it takes just to make a... Um, <laughs> just one of these? <laughs> you know, a whole village and castles worth? <laughs> I, I, I could imagine he's been working on this for a year now because the last park was created January and it was probably when he started realizing how, how amazed people were from the comments and the, the views and started getting to work on this one. Um, so this is like a year's worth of work right here. And boy, oh boy, did it pay off. This has got to be, for me, the most detailed mega park of 2021 so far. Um, we did a really cool creation for episode 400, and this has got to be like episode four, 405 or something. I think we got to go in at nighttime, but this could have, this definitely would have been worthy of a 400. I just didn't quite notice it until afterwards. But for me, this this takes the cake for the most detail of 2021 and we are doing Playco Awards every year now so it's good to keep an eye on these things and go okay my nomination for the most detailed theme park is going to be this one and and then when something comes along that's almost as detailed or better or clo comes close we have something to compare and gauge and start those nominations early off so by the end of the year we can really hand out some truly incredible awards to all these deserving creators. What a uh, an amazingly detailed queue here. It's very mysterious, a little bit spooky. I like the colors and the lighting, a little bit of ambience and background music that we have. We're gonna jump over here. So that's where the fast pass would have left uh, let, led us to. We keep going up. What do we have here? It is in fact a mine train, a swinging mine train coaster called Epic Mountain. <laughs> There's a look at all the stats, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Almost 1,700 meters of track length, 220 seconds in duration with max speeds of 43 miles per hour. Good looking G-forces, a little bit of air time, but not too much. This is exciting. We're gonna put it in test mode so it takes off right away. Okay, we're gonna sit in the bucket and enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to do this one twice, once a day. We'll do day after this.
Wow, what an incredible track. I think it's still worth it to do one a day because of all those revealing shots of the Enchanted World. Uh, the outside experience, I really look forward to seeing this once again with everything nicely lit from the sun. So why don't we give it one more go? We might have a limited amount of coasters anyways, since uh, I think there's one main attraction for each of the, the three areas, except for Main Street, so. Not as many coasters as we're used to seeing in this episode, so let's just uh, give it another go. I mean, I already like it more during the daytime. It looks like the, the lighting was set to both consider the light rays from the sun, as well as the ambient lights added in manually. Uh, I can see so many more details and the combination of the sunlight really makes for an incredible experience so far. So I'm, I'm liking this. Boom! Wow. I quite preferred that more at daytime, I have to say. There were uh, a couple segments there that was uh, using the day-night sequencer to force nighttime. So maybe the intended experience was at day. In fact, it should say, if I read through the description, why can't I find the exit to the ride? Is this this? Yes. All right. Um, let me see here. Fantasyland has a Wonderland. Find your way through the maze. We're not quite in Wonderland yet. Epic Mountain, a wild ride through the Frosty Cave, the frozen glaciers along the rustic villages, and inside dangerous mines. The queue line is the best at night, but there's no preference for the ride itself. All right. So let's head on over to Wonderland because that's the first thing listed and described. Uh, Wonderland, find your way through the maze, ride the teacups, meet all co uh, kinds of mystical creatures. Visit the Queen uh, of Hearts Castle and have dinner with the Hatter. So that's the uh, whole Alice in Wonderland style area. 
very fun. The wardrobe of space and time. Visit the Enchanted World Storage Depot, where uh, magical artifacts will inspire. Sorry, I'm trying to read this off my monitor while driving the camera. Um, it's pretty uh, difficult. I, I feel like I needed a co-host for this one here today. There's so much to go over. Inspire your imagination throughout the wardrobe of time and space, but only open it if you are brave enough. Cue best at nighttime. Stand by. The line is recommended for the full experience. So there's a pre-show queue and uh, Frozen, a boat ride that'll take you through a cold fairy tale. Uh, the snowflakes have lost their king. All that remains is his crown. Venture with the bravest snowman who will go on an adventure of a lifetime to find the king, restore his crown. Bring them back to the queen. Queue is best visited at nighttime. Uh, Epic Mountains, which we just went on. The Haunted Mansion. Enter the Forsaken Mansion, but only if you're not afraid of ghosts. Um, enter the spooky area of it best visit at nighttime, which should be just over here. So we'll go here. It's uh, our spooky area, which also has the Shadow Cancel. Uh, have a meeting with the board of directors from All Things Evil. Hop on board on the station in Fantasyland for best part of the Enchanted Cruise. Meet Princess Emily in her castle. Meet King Ghoster in his ruins. And here we are arriving at the <laughs> giant hedge maze. <clears throat> All Alice in Wonderland inspired stuff. Amazing. And there's the famous carousel. The Queen of Hearts. I think we have to go into the hedge maze. Oh boy. Can I do it? There's the teacups. Somewhere in this hedge maze will take us to the teacups. All right, I feel like we're going in more to the center. Um Feel like we keep going? No. Nope. Uh oh. No cheating, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is this taking us to other attractions, I wonder? I don't feel like this is the proper way. But, ah, it takes us back into, oh. all right, let's just go down here and see what happens. Look at that. There he is. There's the hat. Don't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> This is amazing. Ah, oh, this is just a way into the other zone. Would you look at that? Who would have known? And a doula kappa too, and a herpy derpy her. And a whippy tenty foo. <laughs> I love that song. Okay. Well, I'm going to cheat. I just want to look at the stuff now. Because I feel like this um, maze is intended to take you into queues and attractions and experiences. And you're supposed to spend quite some time exploring the maze. Get some candy as a reward. Hello. Okay, we got to go in the castle. Let's go visit the queen. Freaking fantastic build. <laughs> Meet Card Royale. 
Hi. Take a picture. Look at the throne made out of hedges. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Look how beautifully done that hedge maze is. That's insanely difficult to get these curvy circles all symmetrical and woven together like that. You know how much time this would have taken? Holy crap. That is astonishing. And is there a ride up here or is this a restaurant? Looks like it's a restaurant. This is where the tea party is and it's a giant hat. Oh. Cool. All right, well, since we're here, let's go into the spooky area. Um, it said something about a dark ride and shadow council, enchanting crews. So there should be a few rides and attractions over and along here. I see a queue already. Let's go on in. What does it say here? Haunted Mansion. Oh, this is your take of the famous Haunted Mansion. Oh, cool. All right. Let's go check it out. I mean, and, and location-wise, this is exactly where the Haunted Mansion is located in any Disney park. It, it's so cool. Pass, pass. Stand by. Well, we'll do it the long way. As I, I would imagine, we get a better scenic walk. Although I'm going to fast pass some of it. Because it's just repeating itself. Really cool mansion build, too. Now, is this the one that had a pre show? Guess we'll find out. I had to download a few videos. That's where the fast pass ends up. Oh, Huntsman. Let's do it. There's a look at the stats. Duration seems insanely long, but it might have just been sitting here. If that's as long as it says it is, we... Well, I guess we'll find out. Buckle up, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Why is there one in front of us? We are in seat one. No, this is the one we're going to sit in. Let's go.
Wow, that was a very detailed dark ride, and I didn't expect anything less from Coaster Cat because their last uh, Dragon King Kingdom theme park had the most incredible dark rides ever, and it looks like the results, the duration is just because they're sitting at the station for so long. Wow, that was incredibly detailed. Really good job, Coaster Cat. Love seeing your dark rides. They never get old. They're quite satisfying, and I think that's one of your fortes. If we ever do like a dark ride contest, I have a feeling Coaster Cat will participate and likely crush the competition. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have in this area. Ah, look what I found. <laughs> Very fun. Count them up. There's some rides over here. I hear a choo-choo train. Ooh. Shadow Council. Okay. What is the Shadow Council? It said something about this. I have a meeting with the Board of Directions on all things evil. Best visited at night. Oh. <laughs> little flat ride oh around the table clever let's throw that in test mode now I was gonna say something about the frame rate because we're, we're at just where the frame rate needs to be to have these presentable to have the rides rideable and um, you found the money spot with this one unfortunately you did say that that meant at the sacrifice of Tomorrowland which I would have loved to see what you'd do for that. Um, Tomorrowland would have been right in the back right-hand corner-ish, but it looks like you filled that space up anyways with a, just a larger Adventureland and a, an extension to Fantasyland. So you still made it work and you still filled up the whole park, but you also found that sweet spot where this is the biggest park of the year so far, at least from the ones I've seen. I haven't seen the ones... I don't know about what Zell's been featuring, which is, uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You used the Scarecrow there with the Princess Emily statue, put bat wings on it. Ooh, that's quite cool. And that takes us to the train. Um, I wonder if the train ride is going to be, maybe it's something we can ride at the end. Well, as I was saying, you, you found the sweet spot and, and how much to pack into a mega park before it becomes unbearable. And this is definitely tolerable. Does mean that we don't have any guests in the park, but hey, the VIP. We get the treatment. Meet King Ghoster. <laughs> there he is. That's fun. <laughs> cool. All right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything here. A little boat ride, mostly scenery, but there is a real boat ride that goes underneath and around it all. We haven't finished Fantasyland, so I don't want to go over to um, Frontierland just yet. We're going to make our way through, switch it back to day here, and we have to go back to the Wonderland. Oh, no, we went to the Wonderland. That was the maze. Sorry, but there's another section back here. Here. And in the, some of the past Disneyland parks I've seen, there's like a Seven Dwarfs Mine Train ride around this area, which you've put it over here, which makes sense. So it's a slightly different layout and feel to it than 
other Disneyland parks. But boy, oh boy, does it feel very similar. And still has all the magical Disney details. It's so vibrant and incredible. Look at this. Holy good googly moogly. The details are impeccable. And I remember there being a little bit more of a, a kitty area here with like a Snoopy ride and some other things like that. What do we have here? M meet Emily. And then you would have like uh, Space Mountain back there. Which you didn't get in with the Tomorrowland, unfortunately. There she is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey! The third and final station. So we have all three corners. I, oh, maybe it stops by uh, Frontierland there. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. And there's Adventureland. I kind of think we should just go to Adventureland since we're here and save Frontierland and Big Thunder Mountain for last. Mm-hmm. I'm going to quickly do a jump cut and just uh, double check my recording, make sure everything's good. We'll be back in just a sec. And we're back. I got to check the recording time, which was 46 minutes. There might be some cuts and stuff that was with the introduction and all that stuff. But good googly moogly. This might end up being park of the year in terms of length. I know Zell's done a few big ones in there, but uh, biggest one of 2021 for sure. Most details. This is just all so incredible. We've only featured Main Street and Fantasyland, although I have a feeling Fantasyland was the biggest of all three areas. So, but we're still on par for a hour and a half at least video. It's going to be a big one. If you like the big bag of parks, I'm sure you're enjoying this this video here today. And if you are, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Only 65% of our viewers are subscribed. How are we ever supposed to hit 200,000 subscribers if you guys aren't subscribing to us? And we're doing fan fantastic episodes just like this on a weekly basis. In fact, we're doing one Planet Coaster video a day here on the channel. And uh, up to four parks just like this every single week. So why wouldn't you subscribe, guys? Why wouldn't you subscribe? There's so much content on the channel. It's ridiculous. I think we should do this boat ride. If all of you guys did hit that subscribe button, we would be at 300,000 subscribers. Could you believe that? That would be amazing. So show your support. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And sit back and enjoy this boat ride.
Okay, I think we're going to end it off there. We got the uh, boat back to Fantasyland. We'll hop back over to Adventureland and continue the adventure. But we did get a sneak peek of Frontierland, which was quite nice to go around the Big Thunder Mountain just like that. And uh, take a look at it from a different perspective, which we won't see from over there. So I quite enjoyed that boat ride. It's always good to do one of those once in a while. What do we have back here? Let's head over to the volcano. Are we going to have a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, pirate ride? Pirate Dark Ride, I wonder. The kettle. Oh, look at that ride skin. Ooh. I feel like this is a nighttime area. Yeah. Spooky, spooky. So we have a queue here, and that's for the kettle. And the path continues to wind back here. Rainforest Cafe. Can we go in? No, but it is counted as a restaurant, so the guests can go in there. Oh, wow. What do we have back here? <gasps> See, this area is taking the space of where you would normally have Tomorrowland. And I'm quite okay with this. This is um, unique. Interesting. Oh, wait. The boat ride would have taken us back here, wouldn't it have? Wait a second. Yeah, we never got to come back through this way. Oh, you know what? I think we got to go finish the boat ride. And this is the this is the same one. The, the delay is so long that this one still hadn't left the station yet. Yeah, let's let's check out the rest of the boat ride. I think it's going to be worth the worth it. And we might as well do it at night. Change up the experience.
All right, now we have officially finished off the boat ride and given it the uh, proper respect that it deserves. That whole little back area, for some reason, I thought the boat was going to come back in through here. But yeah, it, it did toward the whole way around. The moment I realized that, I make sure to fix that mistake. But man, oh man, was that uh, that last bit doing it as a dark ride like that. That was the best part, in my opinion. And we almost missed it. So glad I caught that there. Let's com uh, let's finish off the journey into Adventureland and see what else it has in store for us. Normally, there's a Pirates of the Caribbean ride back here in the actual Disney parks. And now it looks like it's a meet Rene Fu. Back here, I got it on two times speed here. Let's slow this down just a bit. And uh, I'm sure there's some sort of pirate ride here because there's an exit. So here we go. Oh, look at the way you've decorated that freaking pirate ship. That is no longer a planet coaster pirate ship. Holy good googly moogly. Look at all the extra cannons on there. That is an Amazing job. That's sick. How many pieces is that? 3,881. Definitely be sure to upload that as a blueprint to your workshop coaster CAD so people can download that incredible ship for their pirate parks. And be sure to click the links down in the description below to coaster CAD's workshop so you can download this park for yourself or any of the blueprints of this park. Pirates of the Caribbean! <laughs> and the Curse of the Flying Dutchman. Okay, great. Uh, but yeah, click the links down in the description below so that you can support Coaster Cat by giving them a rating. And uh, speaking of support, if you guys want to support the show, check out our Patreon program. Links are also down in the description. We offer spotlight priority to patrons, which means your creations get featured at the first of the month. Huge for people who like to actually build in this game. If you play Planet Coaster, you'll get some massive benefits from being a patron. Or if you just like the show and you like to support it, that is, it goes a long way. It helps us out. YouTube is changing their taxing system, so we're going to be taking a big hit. We brought Zelixor on board, and uh, we're trying to do different things. So um, production costs have gone up, income has gone down, and we could use all the support. And we appreciate everything that you guys do. But if not, we always support just having you guys checking out our videos, leaving a like, dropping a comment. That stuff helps us out a lot as well. So, thank you guys all so much for that as well. Alright, this is an amazing queue. Holy crap. Here we go. Alright, we have a whole pirate world down here. Amazing. That's the fast pass right there. Ah, Water Coaster Cascade. Nice. All right, there it is. There's a look at the stats. Another long one. It might just be because it's parked at the station again because the track length is super short. Let's throw it in the test mode and sit in the seat. Why is train one at the back? Um, I might have to do look forward. So we sit a little bit higher up. No, I don't like it.
Holy crap moly Wow! I was saying in episode 400, there was a dark ride in that, co uh, that park spotlight that I said was one of the best pirate dark rides I had ever seen. Coaster Cat has just taken that, has taken the throne. There, I have to pay tribute and take another look at this opening scene here. If I can find it, we gotta make our way over there. This right here. Are you kidding me? That is the craziest stuff I have ever seen. And that's the same ship that was parked out front, isn't it? Oh my gosh. And then we get in here and we see all the skeletons rowing like we're in the bow of the ship. Wow. The lighting and attention to detail of these scenes is some of the best I have ever seen. This is remarkable. Wow. This was freaking amazing. That might just be my favorite thing of this whole park. And the realism on the build too. Wow. <laughs> I think that's better than any of the actual Disney ones, to be honest. The, that's just impeccable detailing and lighting and ambient sounds and uh, the whole package. Well done, Coaster Cat. And as I said earlier, ladies and gentlemen, Coaster Cat is the b best at dark rides. I mean, he is up there with some of our other legendary dark ride builders, FSF Ranger, Pixelated. But uh, Coaster Cat has been doing uh, several dark rides in his previous park, and now this one. The, the other dark ride that I really liked, um, I said that the the the, ma the manor, the Midnight Manor ride, I thought uh, that was good and. I'm so glad you threw in another one in there with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? How do you say it? Pirates of the Caribbean? Caribbean? Caribbean sounds proper in that in that terminology. Um, oh, the music. I was looking at the queue, but we're not going on it yet. We're saving... Big Thunder Mountain for last. Wait a second, this is a queue? How? Is it invisible? Nighttime. Hmm, is this another dark ride? How curious. I was suspecting just a little flat ride. But why would you ever have such a detailed, remarkable cue? It's going to be a shooting ride. Interactive shooting ride, maybe? Cowboys versus aliens? We're not here to destroy you. We have come to the earth to claim your precious gold. This is the pre-show. Resistance is futile. Greetings, puny humans. Okay, now it's on loop. Puny humans. You call us puny and then you say resistance is futile? How dare you? Green alien gloop everywhere. I think it is a shooting ride. That is the shooting ride thingy-majiggy. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's try it out. Oh, we'll keep the score up. It might be a little bit tricky with the frame rate the way it is, but we'll give it our best. Pew, pew. I don't think I've done a shooting ride from Coaster Cat yet. Oh, they're so small. We'll get a closer look at those. Pow! Breaking everything. Oh no. Oh my gosh, there's so many to hit. Oh, we blew up the ship. Uh oh. Ring the bell. Can we shoot these? No. Sometimes people like to hide triggers inside of things. So it's always fun to experiment and shoot different things to see if uh, they have any hidden events 
But this one seems straightforward. Shoot the targets. We short up the wires, open the door. Hello. Pow! Gotcha, buddy. Pow pow. Ah, crap. Oh, sequence. And poop, 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 boom, boom! <laughs> Very fun. Okay. Oh. Radiation. What's going on in here? Engine room. Destroy the engine room. Stop the aliens. like the queen alien thing. Oh, it's quite disturbing. Ugh. <laughs> oh, we took damage from that. Am I supposed to be hitting those? Upgrade? Ooh. I've never seen this before in a shooting ride. We just got a more powerful weapon. Oh! Yeah, now your silly tricks won't work on me. Pow, pow, we've upgraded. Now we pop your brains like watermelons. Uh, my score is going real high now. 15 times multiplier, blasting them all in the brains. Good googly moogly. Are we back at the station now? I think this is it, because there's a jam up. Wow, 35,000, or 36,355. See if you can beat my score. Let's just make sure that that was the end. Quite a bit of a traffic jam that is. Cool. All right, that was very fun and also unexpected. Just from looking at the Frontier Land from the B-roll as well as the boat ride, I had no idea that there was a big alien ride packed in back here, especially a shooting one at that. So pleasant surprise. Ghost or Cad with another uh, dark ride, but this time interactive. Very fun. Meet Miss Ellie. Got to meet, meet Renee Fu. Come over here. Meet Miss Ellie. We're meeting all the mascots. I love the Planko spin that you've added. Pow, pow, pow. Come on, give us a pow, pow. Draw. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. We actually put her on a green screen, and uh, she is our... Twitch cheer alert. When you donate biddies or cheer, she goes pow, 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 biddies. It's quite fun. Uh, we did something special for all of the Planko characters for our Twitch stream. So if you guys didn't, aren't aware, we are streaming every Friday, Saturday, Sunday from noon Pacific Standard Time to about 5 p.m. dinner time. And uh, we also throw in some extras throughout the week. Uh, bonuses. We've done some Thursdays and Depending if we're cleared up, we'll uh, we'll throw in some others. So um, we're always streaming at least three days a week, 15 to 20 hours a week. So come check us out at Twitch slash uh, or uh, Twitch TV slash Channel Five Gaming. <laughs> Links are down in the description below. Boom! Come follow us. Come support us. We're gonna be doing Planko events as well, probably once a month. Uh, this we have two Planko events in. Um, March. Two big ones. We did the mini bark contest as well as the... We're doing the shop contest. At the time of this recording, the shop contest will uh, be going up in a couple weeks. And I think if you're watching this now, it'll be this weekend. Or today. Or right now. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Another big pointer, as uh, we've all been able to tell, we haven't had a need for background music 
and uh, everywhere we go, there's custom speakers. So, I mean, not everybody does this with their parks, but boy, does it make a difference. Especially when there's no guests in the park, you know? You don't have any banter, you don't have any random sound effects. But, um, you know, having those speakers just really adds to the vibe. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Big Thunder Mountain. And it is a Coyote Canyon Runner. There's a look at all the stats. We're gonna throw our back in test mode. I think we're gonna have to ride this one twice. Once in track view. So we don't have the big train in our way. And we'll switch it out for the next run. Sit back and enjoy. Love the song there too. Let me check the schedule real quick because um, my thoughts of the stream schedule. So this video should be going up Saturday the 27th, which is, which does mean we will be going live with a Planet Coaster Shop Contest event at 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And this video went up at 8 a.m. So if you're watching this now, we're going live. If you're watching this at the time of its release, we're going live in just a couple hours. So be sure to come join us there. And if you're watching it late, there will be a VOD coming up both the channel and on Twitch. So you can still catch it there. Now, I love that song. I love that ride. But one thing I do want to change because this song put me in the mood and everybody knows that I'm a big fan of Planet Bluegrass. And I think it will go really well with this. There it is. Planet Bluegrass. We're going to put the favorite on there. I don't know why all these are favorited. I didn't do that. Planet Bluegrass. And I think we're going to go back of the train. Seat view. Back seat. Facing forward. Ooh, chase view. Yeah, let's do chase.
there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Thunder Mountain, Planet Bluegrass, and the Enchanted World as a whole. Inspired by Disneyland, created by Coaster Cad, one freaking epic, monumental creation. Let's get some more views on this so everyone can inspire Coaster Cad. His, his last creation blew up. It got so many views that it inspired him and motivated him to move on to create this. So by sharing this with your friends on social media, by watching it again, by getting this as many views as possible and commenting, leaving a like, leaving some love, going down in the links down in the description below and, and rating this creation so Coaster Cad could rise to the top. Will he create another? Another amazing creation, the wardrobe of time and space. I almost missed a ride. I said, why? Why is this a building that I hadn't seen? There's something in there. There's a dark ride. We went that through here. We missed it. We're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. The show goes on. I was about to give the outro. Good thing I didn't. Coaster Cat would have hated me. Maybe I should double check the ride list before we leave. Probably not a bad idea. Bump, bump, bump. How dare you, Johnny, miss a ride? Not today! The show must go on. If the episode isn't long enough already, it's <laughs> set in records, says Coaster Cat. I'll take as much time as we need to make sure we see everything Coaster Cat has to offer. Another Dark Ride Huntsman wardrobe and time and space. Here we go. Seat view. Why aren't we in the right train? This one. Seat middle. Let's go. Okay, there it is, very awesome, and it did remind me about Moomin Little Socks as a Matter of Time, number two, that I was supposed to dig up and feature on the show, which isn't currently scheduled, but now I remembered to do so. Is there anything here that I had not featured here? Epic, Frozen, Frozen. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another ride. It's a boat ride. How did I miss it? It's underneath the Dwarf Mountain? It's in here? Wait a second. Do we even see this? Somehow we passed by this. Oh, I came back this way, which is completely separated from this way. And we looked at that and said, we'll come back here. And we didn't. Of course I missed it. Another ride. Way more rides than I anticipated. Um, I think this has more rides than the last Walt Disney World recreation uh, park that we've been on, which ended up being like a two-hour episode. 
I'm getting confused now. I think I went down the fast pass. Am I going down the right? Ooh. Beautiful. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. This may or may not be the final ride. <laughs> we will make sure that we didn't miss any others. And I'm so confused why it keeps starting me off on the last boat. Well, let's enjoy it. Wow, 
What a pleasant surprise. Love the characters, love the setting, the lighting again. Just to iterate what I was saying about Coaster Cat being so phenomenal at these dark ride experiences, yet another one. And I'm so happy that there were multiple dark rides in this park creation, as we saw with the Dragon Kingdom creation. Um, it just, it's so awesome to see that. Now I'm going to just double check the park list. Let me, uh... all right, looks like I hit them all, ladies and gentlemen, except for the train ride. If you want to ride the train ride yourself, you can download it. Links are in the description below. There's a quick look at the track though. Uh, other than it passing on the outskirts of the areas, for the most part, it's diverging through the back areas, which is mostly all trees anyways. So I don't think we're missing out on much by checking that out. And I was saying before we went on that last couple rides that uh, Coaster Cat is an absolute legend. And uh, it was because of all the attention that his previous park got, all the views and all the comments, it inspired him to go on and create things. So by you leaving a comment, by you leaving a like, by you checking out the Steam page and giving it a rating, by sharing this on social media, helping the publicity go out there and, um, you know, bring awareness to people's creations. You are helping support them and inspire them to continue doing amazing things. If it weren't for the love and support and attention you guys gave him on our previous park spotlight of his uh, last Dragon Kingdom, he would not have gone on to make this. So continue giving your love by supporting him through the comments and likes on this video, letting him know what you thought of his wonderful creation. And I got to say, you did Walt Disney proud in this one here today, um, Coaster Cat. And in fact, there's a lot of things in here that I like better than the original Walt Disney stuff. And, you know, you didn't fit in Tomorrowland in here, but that's quite okay. This is a perfect size mega park. You, you stopped at just the right amount. It ran pretty nicely overall. And uh, my personal favorite is the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I loved it. The lighting was just sensational. What was your favorite ride and why? What was your favorite area and why? Fire away down below, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to do it for me in today's episode of Park Spotlight. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.